Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we are going to make an amazing table leg. So I want you to type leg. It could also be for a chair. I'm going to make mine for a table. Friends, the first step is to come out and simply grab a cube. I'm going to let you stretch it to whatever size you want. This is going to be the leg, but we're going to make it very ornate. Watch this. Bring out the round roof, and because of cruising, we can just snap it right to that side. I am going to squish it a little bit, just because I'm playing with my numbers. I don't know what's perfect. I'm just having fun with this. I am going to move it all the way to the top by doing a line. And I want the red one to be the boss, and we're going here. And of course, I want it just like this. So that part is in place. This is going to make a fun shape on the top of this. Now, friends, we're going to do duplicate, which is Control-D. I'm going to flip this so it goes the other way. And we're going to move it into our shape, and we're going to cut it out. So that means we're going to make it a hole. You can push it all the way in. You can do whatever you want. Have fun. Make it custom. We don't know exactly what the perfect choices are. We're just having fun building. Friends, I'm going to do this again with Control-D shift nudge to move it down so it's below that little mark notice they are lining up pretty close i do want that to line up right with where it cuts off i think that's going to be perfect i am going to shift squeeze this notice it shrinks in every direction and then i'll stretch it back up let's check the height of this they all need to be 20. type the 20 and press enter i'm going to do Control d i'm going to nudge this over this time I'm going to shift squeeze from this corner, but I want to make my nudge small. So I'm going to do 0.1, so this is just going to be a little smaller. And then I'm going to do control D again, and it moves that. Now friends, these being the different height doesn't matter at all, because what we're going to use is something called an SVG. We just need to make sure they all touch the bottom. Those do, and then I want my leg to get thinner at the bottom. Watch this stretch black handle rotate to whatever number you think is cool and we're going to group that this is going to be the silhouette of the leg that we're making and we are going to export it as an svg that is a 2d picture of it notice i'm saving mine to my downloads it is called leg table because i named it Friends, now it is time to search for a cool tool called SVG Revolver. When you find it, bring it out. It wants the file. We are going to choose the file. Once again, it was called Leg Table, and this part takes some patience. I'm going to tell you we want the inside diameter to be the smallest. We want the sketch height to be the max. We want the rotation to be the full 360. And press Enter. And then all of a sudden, it starts to look like a table leg. Check it out, friends. After just a moment, you've got a chair leg. Now it is short because of the 20. We can just stretch that by lifting it up. You can also hold down shift scale, and it stretches in every direction. I'm going to move this piece off to the side, and it's time to make it into a quick table. Of course, all we're going to do is control D. I'm going to shift nudge to move this away. Remember, I had it set to 0 0.1. Let's move this so it's something a lot larger. There are my shift nudges. And then I'm going to take those two, select them, do Control D, and shift nudge the other way to move them out where they go. Now, remember, this is sort of complex the way this is made with that SVG revolver. You may need to be patient as it moves. Let's go back back to the main page and let's add a tabletop once again because of cruising i can just set it right on top use the black handles to stretch it out to the size i want i'm going to make it thin i'm going to give it a radius of two and that my friends is pretty darn cool I'm going to choose to make it glass so i'm going to go gray and do t for transparent and then I'm going to take the legs and I'm going to make them black, which I think looks pretty darn sweet. We do want to get everything aligned. I'm going to quickly hide this, select all these, do Control-G to group. Now I can do Show All to bring everything back. 
and we want to align our tabletop. And of course, we need to align that tabletop by selecting it all, pressing L for align, and choosing middle and middle. Friends, a really fun tabletop with fancy legs in minutes. Now, of course, there is a ton of room for you to experiment and make this cooler. Don't forget, when you're done, you can show off what you made with the world by simply going back to the Tinkercad page, clicking on the gear, choosing the properties. Of course, give it a name. And then I've always got my description where I mentioned the tutorial is coming soon. You can also find all the different ways that you can check out what I've created and how to reach me. Of course, friends, make sure you add some tags so it's easy to search. And then if you tag it with HLMT23, I'm checking that tag almost every day to give you reactions and see what kind of cool things you made. Of course, make sure you make it public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to go up here, follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.